Hi, well, I'm Dennis Madigan, co-chair with my wife, Judy, of the Whitefish Chain Antique and Classic Woodboat Rendezvous. This is our 23rd year. My wife and I have been co-chairing this for 18 years. The boat show actually started uh, in 1988. My cousin and his wife, Ginger Harrison, they uh, started the show, and we took it over five years later and have been enjoying the beautiful setting here in Moonlight Bay, uh, Cross Lake, Minnesota. This is really a community event. Today we have over 70 boats here at the show. We have boats from $1 million on down. We have great user boats, and we have all kinds of boats here. We've got ski boats, uh, boats that I call memory lane. It's the kind of boat you look down and you say, you know, my grandpa had a boat like that, or the neighbor had a boat like that. I used to ski behind it, or I learned how to ski. And then we've got the other kind of boats that just say this, Boy, when I win the lottery, I'm going to buy one like that because, yeah, we do have million-dollar boats here also. We also have the International Boat of the Year here this year, named by the uh, Antique and Classic Boat Society at their international convention. And we've got good old user boats, we've got canoes, we've got rowboats, we've got launches, we've got twin engines, we've got 28-foot boats that sat on the back of a yacht in the Mediterranean. We got plenty here to see a beautiful Moonlight Bay. If you can't make it, it's always the fourth Saturday in July next year, and every year thereafter, God willing, the creek don't rise. Being asked, you know, what is your favorite boat? The nice thing about this boat show for me is that they're all my favorites because there's such a variety. Uh, I mean, you, you're going down the, the line here and you see boats with 17 coats of hand rub lacquer sanded down to 2,000 grit sandpaper. And next to that, you might see a 45 horsepower outboard Johnson that, you know, you saw on the lake, when you were a kid up there, there's every kind of boat you can imagine. There's uh, Garwoods, Hacker Crafts, there are boats I never heard of. Pat, we got some new ones here this year. I thought, what kind of boat is that? We've even got some boats with flat bows. I mean, it's not the point, it's flat. All kinds of, just, you just gotta take them all in. You were just asking the question, why do we have these boats? To preserve the history? You got it. We believe that every boat show in the country contributed to the history of these boats. And they're not making any more of them. They make what they call replicas, but they're not the originals. And you need to see these. I mean, we've had boats, we had, we had a boat here last year, and the name of the boat was Reprieve. The man had major medical problems and was going to die. And he did, and when he, everything worked out, he turned to his son and he says, we're gonna restore the boat, and we're gonna call it Reprieve, because I got a reprieve on life. Now that boat can get a reprieve back to the historical boat that it was in the original state. Last year it was here, and I think next year they're bringing it. They brought a different boat this year. But to restore the history, and we have a lot of young people now participating in bringing boats. And that's important that we get them involved. And not just the old timers, but we need to pass this on. It's a part of our history. First thing, they better have a lot of patience. 
and they need to make some contacts with people that have restored boats to get a lot of help. And there's people all over the country that can help you know, people do that. It's usually a long process, but it's one that everyone that has done it has said, boy, was it worth it. They'll bring pictures of when they started a restoration, and then you look at it again and you say, wow, that's what that was? And then you see it now and it's like, I can't believe it looks like that. A lot of work, a lot of time, and you know what they say about boats, they're nothing but a hole in the water you pour money into, but you know it's worth it. I have a 1949 Chris Craft, and it is all 100% original. The engine is 1949, 95 horsepower, uh, and yet my cousin has a 1953, but he's got a big Chevy engine in it, a newer, you know, motor. And yet you have both. There are those that like to kind of be the purists, and uh, I'm not quite the purist, but uh, everything on my boat is original wood, original motor, original everything. A lot of them are that way. Others, probably the wood and all that is restored, and uh, that would be like the original boat, but sometimes the mechanical, and they enhance it or improve it. When you're dealing with an antique or classic boat, you're, you're dealing with wood. And uh, it takes a lot of work to keep them in the condition that they're in. There are some boats that they actually have employees that do nothing but work on their boats. We have a lot of boats where the skipper themselves work on the boat. They start from scratch and build it. They tear it down. They rebuild it. They finish it. They do the, the whole boat themselves. And it, it's a labor of love, believe me. Because some of them work on these boats three years or more to bring them, and, and, and they're just pristine boats.
when you get the ground. We have the People's Choice Award, which all of the public that comes, it's 12,000, they get a chance to vote for their favorite. Then the top award is uh, the Skipper's Choice, and that's where the skippers themselves go around and evaluate all the boats and decide what they think is the best boat in the show, and that's our top award. I think this boat's after a granddaughter. And the man, it's a grandpa standing over there. He's best utility over 20 feet. The Robinson boat 16. Sophie, your hand. Then we have another 12 awards. The, the utilities under and over 20, utility boats under and over, outboards, fiberglass, uh, uh, different kinds of boats. We also have uh, a Grand Marshal Award. Peter Green's Dock 27, the Dolly Peter's Choice. We have a gentleman that makes one eight inch replicas of these boats. He brings those boats from Colorado. Some take three, four, five, six hundred hours to make. Does anyone know where Colorado is? Peter 
but they are absolutely beautiful replicas, little tiny, one-eighth scale. He loves to talk about his boats, the history of them. He can tell you every detail about them, and the people just love to talk to him. A good friend of ours makes all these. They're beautiful, beautiful plaques, and hopefully during all this you'll get a shot of them because there's some beautiful, beautiful work there. Last year we had 12,000 people at the boat show. That was the estimated crowd. The lines already this year have started about an hour and a half earlier, so I think we're going to have more than that. They come from everywhere. We have license plates. We went out and just looked at license plates. Texas, Arizona, Florida, Canada, Kansas, Washington State. I mean, they just come from all over and young and old. We need to pass this on. It's a part of our history. Dennis Maddox, number 16. For those of you who haven't been around much, he's been running the show for many years. He wants to figure out how to. I did not count the ballots. I don't know how this happened. The things that people have done. The first one's called the Grand Marshal Award, and that's just for longevity of helping with the show. Obviously the show doesn't work without a lot of people spending a lot of time. This year's Grand Marshal Award goes to Dennis and Judy Maddox. People who have never owned an antique boat, have never been involved with it, but they just come to see the boats, and then others who might have had one or dreamed of one. There's just a lot of everything, and uh, it's fun to look in the parking lot and see what we have. Well, the show starts at 9 every year, fourth Saturday of July. 
It ends at four. At four o'clock, we ask the skippers to start their engines, and they all crank them up. They go out into Cross Lake from the bay, and they form up and do a flyby at full throttle back through the bay in front of the docks for everybody to see the boats up and running. And it's quite spectacular. And uh, again, bring your camera. We also have uh, a Grand Marshal Award that flies our pink bloomers, which are our official flag. And uh, that started in 1989 when a guy left some pink bloomers on a dock. And as a joke, we made it our official flag and we've been flying it ever since.
thank you for being here. We hope the public enjoys what we're doing. Uh, it's a labor of love, but it is love and it is labor. And we enjoy it and we're glad we can still do it. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go get my beer now?